Hi, hello everyone, welcome to the channel and today I will show you how to calculate the carbon monoxide concentration for any study region in, in molecule per meter square or microgram per meter square using time series chart analysis in Google Earth Engine. So let's get started. So here the CO represents the carbon monoxide concentration. So now to visualize and uh, calculate the concentration of carbon monoxide for any study region First, we have to import our country's boundary layer into Earth Engine. So, to import our country's boundary layer into Earth Engine, we defined a variable called countries equals to double e dot feature collection US DOS LSIB simple 2017. This specific code will insert our country's boundary layer into Earth Engine. So, next we have to import our Sentinel 5P NRTI NO NRTI CO that is represents carbon monoxide concentration. So for that we define a variable called collection equals to double e dot image collection Copernicus S5P NRTI L3 CO. So this specific code will insert our insert our carbon monoxide concentration that is our carbon monoxide data from Sentinel 5P image into Earth Engine. So in that uh, data we are going to specifically select this particular uh, that is carbon monoxide column number density. We are going to select this specific uh, data from this. Sentinel 5P NRTM NRTM L3 CO. So for that we select we define dot dot, dot select CO column number density, and we are going to filter with a specific timeline that is from dot filter date 2020 January 1 to 2020 December 31st. So next we have to set a visualization parameter for our uh, carbon monoxide data. For that we had to define a variable called bandwidth. They are setting with the minimum value of 0 and to a maximum value of 0 0.05. The color palettes we are going to include are black, blue, purple and uh, green, yellow and red. Starting with the lowest concentration of carbon monoxide data will be represented in black color and the highest level of carbon monoxide concentration will be represented in red color. So next we have to, uh, next to uh, add this layer to display and visualize this layer in Earth Engine. We have defined map dot add layer collection dot mean. So collection here refers to the specific variable called this variable where we access our Sentinel 5P NRTI image dot mean function dot clip countries. Using our countries boundary, we are clipping once one specifically for countries. And here the bandwidth here represents our band visualization parameter that is represented here. So next output the layer name as SP5CO, CO represents carbon monoxide. So to next to generate our time series, concert, time series analysis for carbon monoxide concentration for any specific study region, we are using this uh, specific, uh, we are using this specific timeline with start time from 2020 January 1 to end time from 2020 December 31st. So for that we are again we are going to import our Sentinel 5P NRTI CO image into Earth Engine. We defined a variable called start time equals to 2021 uh, January 1 and uh, where the end time we are represent variable end time 2020 December 31st and next we defined our variable called CO collection represents carbon monoxide collection equals to double e dot image collection Copernicus S5P NRTI L3 CO. If we are specific with a specific uh, study region so for that we defined a study region let me show you that. So now you can visualize we have defined a specific study region so we're going to view the concentration of this specific study region called uh, Chennai so in that we're going to visualize the carbon monoxide concentration for this specific study region for that I have used this uh, draw a rectangle let me show you that so now I'm going to select the specific study region called Chennai let me uh, view in the satellite view so this is our Chennai and now I'm going to select the specific study region. For that, I'm going to click this option called draw a rectangle. I clicked now. So let me draw a rectangle over the study region. So now, so now I have drawn a, a rectangle over the study region. So that is indicated here variable geometry. So this specific polygon that is our rectangle that is polygon that is uh, shown here variable geometry polygon four vertices. So we have defined our study region as in a geometry that is represent this is our study region we given a name as geometry so we have filter filtering with a specific study region dot filter bound geometry so next we are filtering filtering with a specific time period that is dot filter date start time we are starting from january 1 to 
end time is end time is from December 31st of 2020. So in this specific data, we're going to select this specific data called carbon monoxide called column number density. So we have for that we define dot select CO column number density. So next we're going to uh, visualize the concentration of carbon monoxide for uh, this specific year 2020 for each of the month to view the concentration of carbon monoxide for each of the month for this specific study region. So for that uh, we define map dot map function a written dot written a dot set month doubly dot image a dot date dot get month and to view this data we define print CO collection CO here represents carbon monoxide. The next step will be to calculate the mean concentration of carbon monoxide uh, carbon monoxide for each of the month for the year 2020. So for that we define a variable called month equals to doubly dot list CO collection dot aggregate uh, array month dot distinct function and to view this data we define print months. So next we define a variable called CO that is carbon monoxide monthly concentration equals to months dot map function x and return carbon monoxide collection dot filter metadata month equals to x dot mean function dot set month x. So in this we're going to calculate the mean carbon monoxide concentration for each month using the filter metadata and mean and resulting the monthly mean image that is monthly mean carbon monoxide uh, concentration is done using this specific code. So next we have to create a time series chart analysis that is in order to view the concentration of the carbon monoxide for each of the month. So for that we defined a create a time series chart, a variable chart equals to UI chart dot image dot series. So carbon monoxide final refers to this specific variable and geometry refers to our study region. So this is our study region and doubly dot reducer dot mean function and output the layer name as month. And set options for title we're going to define as a CO concentration that is carbon monoxide concentration and V axis we define title as concentration in microgram per meter square and in H axis we define the title as month. And now to view this chart we have to define print chart. So now let us visualize this code let me run this. So now let me run this code click this option called run script. So now let us visualize our data. So now first let us view the global concentration of carbon monoxide. So now we can able to visualize the global concentration of carbon monoxide. So here the red color indicates the highest level of carbon monoxide concentration and the black areas indicates the lowest level of carbon monoxide concentration. So now let me show you that. So here so in set visualization parameter we set a minimum value of uh, minimum carbon uh, carbon monoxide value as a black color and highest level of carbon monoxide concentration is set to red color and here the yellow indicates the moderate and green is uh, less moderate so likewise the red indicates of highest level of carbon monoxide concentration and black indicates the lowest level of carbon monoxide concentration so in this from the map we can visualize that and uh, this part of the region where uh, so actually in China, the concentration of carbon monoxide concentration is very high and similarly in India, towards the eastern side of the India, the concentration of carbon monoxide is higher. You can observe a few, few spots of red and uh, many yellow spots around this uh, region, so which indicates the con carbon monoxide concentration. The red indicates of highest and uh, yellow is of second, uh, second higher level of second uh, most highest of carbon monoxide concentration. And similarly, in Africa, you can observe the central part of Africa has a very high level of carbon monoxide concentration compared towards the north and north, east and south. The central part of this region has a very high carbon monoxide concentration. And similarly, in South America, you can observe the concentration of carbon monoxide is comparatively very low towards south and also towards uh, in the east and north but the concentration of carbon monoxide is high in the central part of the uh, South America. So you can observe that the red spots indicating a uh, highest level of carbon monoxide concentration. It is observed, it is observed in the central part of this, uh, this study region called South America. So let, let us similarly observe in North America. So the data has been getting loaded.
so now we can visualize now let us visualize our steady region concentration of carbon monoxide using our time series chart analysis so we have uh, draw a polygon around the study region called Chennai to view the carbon monoxide concentration in uh, 2020 in from January 1 to December 31st. So now let us visualize that. So we have generated a time series chart here. So now let me show you that. So this is our time series chart analysis for carbon monoxide concentration for the year 2020 starting from January, uh, January 1 to December 31st. So here in uh, y-axis we have the concentration in microgram per meter square of uh, concentration of carbon monoxide in microgram per meter square and month here represents from starting from January to December. So here you can observe in this uh, part during the January it has uh, concentration of carbon monoxide has been increased from uh, February, March and the concentration is high uh, till the and till May the concentration was higher after that the drop in the concentration of carbon monoxide has been absorbed in the uh, in seventh month of this year and similarly the uh, concentration has been uh, increased the concentration of carbon monoxide has been increased from September up to uh, December so the concentration is getting very uh, it's getting lower it is getting lowered in uh, June and is uh, getting higher during the month that is from September onwards the concentration of carbon monoxide has been increased in this specific study region which is clearly shown in this uh, graph where the concentration in microgram per meter square in y axis and uh, the month is represented in x axis. So now let me get back to uh, earth engine. So likewise you can calculate the concentration of carbon monoxide for any study region only by just drawing a polygon around the study region and you can calculate the concentration of carbon monoxide for that specific study region. So in this video I have shown you how to calculate the carbon monoxide concentration in a microgram per meter square for any study region using time series chart analysis using Sentinel 5P NRTI CO data. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.